This is for any of y'all. This was the first game this year. You had one of your top eight players miss a game. And just how do you res y'all respond to that? And Darius and, and uh, talk about that and then X also. Um, yes, Tari was out, but, you know, next man up. You know, B. Murray picked it up. X picked it up. I picked it up. Everybody that played tonight picked it up. Brad gave us great minutes. So, you know, even though somebody is out, you know, somebody else going to pick up the slack. I mean, just like he said, next man up, we already preached that to the rest of our guys and, and our freshmen who was, who was in the rotation. I mean, you just got to be ready so you don't got to get ready. And we got a lot of guys who put a good amount of work in and be ready when their name is called up. So, I mean, it's just like they said, next man up. Yeah, uh, Xavier, I guess just to start, just how, how are you feeling? Yeah, I saw you went out there at the end of the game. Just what, what kind of happened there and just how are you feeling, I guess? Uh. I mean, um, I don't know how to describe it. I kind of it was a weird play. I got clipped from behind and felt a small pop, but no ligaments are torn. So I mean, I'm good, 100. percent And then I guess just the offense. You know, you guys were really fluid tonight with the offense. Just just talk about how you know the fast start really helped and just I guess making shots because it sounds like y'all were you getting really good looks. I mean, we we got to come out stronger, harder. I feel like. So that's what we preached the whole weekend. And just coming out with a fast pace, not coming out too passive or too relaxed, coming out out the gate like aggressive. And that's what we've just been practicing on and trying to translate to the court. This is for all you guys. Uh, what part of your individual game do you want to improve on as SEC play starts next week? Being more of a team. Um, everybody works out every day, or some, some of us work out multiple times a day. So. <clears throat> You know, we just do our job that we're called to do. You know, some guys play defense, some guys score the ball. You know, some guys is more aggressive on defense. So it just – I don't know, to really change anything now, it would be kind of kind of, kind of pointless. pointless. Yeah, yeah it would be kind of pointless. <laughs> so, you know, keep doing what we're doing, you know, standing in the gym, getting after it, and, you know, continue stacking. So that's all it is. Uh, this one's for <clears> – <throat> Sorry, this one's for Darius. Uh, so in the previous eight games, you kind of had your struggles from the three-point line. Uh, but, I mean, based on this, this performance, it seems like maybe those struggles are out the window. Uh, what do you have to say to anyone who m might be d doubting your uh, three-point shooting ability at the moment? Um, they going to fall? For sure. They're always going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> like for anyone that you know has anything to say about my three point you know percentage or you know the way I'm shooting the ball, you know my resume speaks for itself for sure. So you know I've played in big games, you know I've knocked down shots in big games. So you know like I said, my resume speaks for itself. <clears throat> you know everybody goes through struggles. You know like you said, my past eight games I have been you know shooting the ball that well. You know I've got great looks, miss you know great looks, but you know. It's just work, you know. We've been putting in the work. I've been putting in the work, so you know my guys trust me. So you know, it's just everyday work. Brandon, with you getting a start, a couple starts now, and getting into the rotation pretty firmly, do you feel a difference in your game when you start versus when you come off the bench? It seems like you're a little bit more confident, freer when you start. I, I don't come off the bench. I, I'm a starter. He started every. I game. started every game. <laughs> but well, I mean that's cool, but. <laughs> No, nah, I mean, it's cool. I mean, my guys get me in the spots. I mean, I ain't really too much. I'm just feeling more comfortable out there. My guys get me more ready. So I'm taking it upon my leaders just to get me right. You know, this is for you, Darius. We already, you know, know about your veteran leadership and how, how many times you've been around this, you know, trying to get strong going into SEC play. Dominant win like this, what, is just, what does it just do for the team getting ready for conference? It's really just building momentum. That's all it is. You know, Coach preached it, you know, <laughs> you know, coach, coach, coach is coach. Um, you know, he he's always preaching a lot of things to us. You know, tonight was a great win, but you know, we still got some. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah, you know, I didn't really know how to word it. Yeah, you know, because basically we just got some stuff to work on. Yeah, we got to do. We got a lot to work on. There you go, right there. Yeah, we got a lot. 
to work on. Yeah, definitely with the turnover for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> that's that's the biggest thing is the turnover. So mm-hmm. we are gonna continue working and you know taking care of the ball because you know, you know, a week from the day we're gonna be in you know at Auburn. You know, that's not gonna really the turnover is gonna really hurt us. So you know, taking care of the ball and you know playing together is gonna be crazy at Auburn. So you know, we're gonna enjoy this win and you know just keep stacking, keep working. There, so you you uh, tonight you had. You have been struggling, like like we said before. Um, what, did you do anything recently to change that, or did you just feel like it was going to fall? And tonight was your night. Um, my teammates got me, a, you know, great looks and open spots, but you know, just being in the gym, that's all it is. You know, having a clear mind. A couple games probably try to force a couple shots that you know that I, you know I, I could make, but you know, wasn't the right time to shoot the ball, but you know. Like I said before, you know, they have confidence in me to make those shots. So I'm, you know, continue shooting those shots, but, you know, not forcing nothing and just getting the ball on the floor. I know you guys have a, you know, a week now before SEC play, but you guys obviously, I assume some of y'all are going home for Christmas and whatnot. Just the, the, the message from the coaching staff in just terms of just how you approach mentally, you know, before you got to obviously prepare for a really tough start to conference play. Mm-mm. I mean, it's the same thing every day. Yeah. Like, it ain't really going to be nothing new if we go. Like, if some of us was to go home, we still going to be doing the same thing at home that we do here. So. Nah, only, like, one person going home. Yeah. The rest of us, we, we'll be here working. Mm, exactly. Get the treatment. Yeah, if you do go home, just do what you're supposed to do. You know, it's a little outbreak going on right now. So, you know, wear your mask and do what you're supposed to do. Don't be running around the house or, like. Come yeah. back and get that booster shot. Exactly. Get the booster shot. <laughs> <Wow. Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.